We are in full swing for training for our 2020 season. Um, now this year we've brought on, we've retired a few dogs, but we've brought on a uh, quite a few new dogs to our kennel. And uh, we're today, what do we got here? We've got two boys in this team that we're gonna be running for the very first time. And uh, so we've got Aurora. This is little Aurora. She's uh, one of our lead dogs. Heath, come here. Heath, come here. I'll show us your bum. Aurora and Heath, they're gonna be leading the team for us. I'm sure all of you will know little Fern, hey? That's my Fern. Now here we've got uh, one of our boys. This boy uh, was rehomed to us. This is Blue. So Blue, we've got an Australian Kelpie here. He's about to find out what a harness is for his first time. Hey, Blue, hey? Uh, he's got a lot, a lot of energy. He doesn't stop all day in his yards. Now we've got another little boy here, Mako. Hey, mate. We've got Mako again. He's about to put a harness on for the first time. Aren't you, mate? I'll tell you, he's got a brilliant attitude and uh, and he's going to absolutely love it. He pulls like a train on a lead. And we've got one of our boys, Ace, which some of you guys have probably met up in the snow. Hey, buddy. So we're only running very small teams with our pre-season training. With five or six dogs is what we'll do over the next month or two. For me, it keeps it a lot smaller and a lot easier for us to uh, watch how the dogs are performing. Keep an eye on it, especially with, uh, with new dogs in the team. So we want to keep an eye on them nice and close, slow the pace down, well, slow the power down anyway from uh, our larger teams. So we're starting with five or six dog teams. We have our kennel divided up with uh, 11 teams that we're all divided into at the moment, or five or six dogs. And uh, and then we will step things up and be getting up to the uh, sort of eight to 10 dog mark where come winter time, we'll have six teams each between eight and 10 dogs divided up with them and then we'll split them six teams into our different resorts that we're running at. So we're going to get going. I'll try and get another bit of film on the way and uh, get some of these guys, especially uh, Blue and Mako here who are out for their first time, some of our rehome dogs. Hey, Fern. All right, guys, got the camera in a tree. Hopefully it works. First time of the season here for this team. Two brand new dogs on the team. Let's see how this madness takes off, hey? Whew. All right, guys, back from our first run out here with a couple of these guys. It's really good to be back training in full swing. This is what we're all about around here. So Marco here is just uh, watering these guys after a run. Our water, we make up a, uh, a mix with different additives. A lot of the time it's just sardines. Um, it baits the water to make these guys drink for us after a run. But the best thing is it's not plain water, it's a treat. So that's their treat saying, well done, good run, puppies. So there's Aurora and Heath. Having their water, waiting patiently here. We got blue, that was awesome, buddy, hey? Took to it like a natural, that's an Australian Kelpie, just a new kind of work. These dogs love to work, and obviously Fern, our Australian cattle dog next to him, absolutely love to work. And they love their treats at the end. Fern and blue, and down the back here, Ace, just doing what you do, mate. Legend, and Mako. This boy is literally a, a duck to water. That was just perfect. He didn't miss a beat and it was his very first run. Good boy. Yes, good boy. 